record? The red button? Yeah, you gotta hit the red button. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome back. So, so it is May 1st today and May 8th has been designated Black Fay Day. <laughs> Black Fay Day is all about creating the representation that we want to see in fantasy. So of course, I'm gonna go overboard, but I know myself. I know myself very well. I will be lucky if I get one video out of this entire month. All right, so I think first thing we need to do, we, <laughs> I think the first thing that I need to do is go through my stock of fabric and see what I have a lot of and see what I want to use up uh, because that's really gonna determine the design. All right, so let's go. Is Belle's dress in the live action good for Belle? No. In general, it's a very cute dress. We're gonna use this butterfly fabric as the base of the bodice. On top of that, we are going to layer this leftover um, iridescent organza I have. And on top of that, we're gonna layer some leftover blue organza that I have. The skirt is gonna be made out of this blue tool. I don't need it, so this is a wonderful way to get rid of all of it. Um, we'll also use whatever spare, because I have a lot of this spare organza, we're gonna use that as well. I need to design this baby. Let's do it. The purpose of this project was to, number one, try to use up some of the fabric in my overwhelming hoard, and number two, try to follow a pattern as it is written and directed, as that is something that I do not do ever. I tend to Frankenstein pattern pieces together to get what I want, and I wanted to see if I could actually just do what it tells me to do for once. As such, I tried to keep my design as close to the pattern as possible, only adding superficial additions um, and changes. Okay. So what I need to do is put all the pieces together. Not like assemble the bodice, but every, every piece has multiple layers to it. This is the bodice front. The bodice has one, two, three has four different layers. So oh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each piece individually, each pattern piece individually, lay all the layers on top and then glue all the pattern pieces, layers, the layers on top of each other down, sew them. So let's, let's see if I can make this work. Did that explanation make sense to you? I didn't think so. Let me try again. The bodice is comprised of a lot of different small pieces, all layered on top of each other. And to prevent it from looking kind of flat in color, I wanted to add different combinations of color onto those pattern pieces by layering different fabrics on top of each other. This meant, though, that I had to assemble the pieces before I could even use the pieces to assemble the bodice. It was, um, kind of horrible, but I do like the end result, so that kind of makes it worth it. Also, I forgot to record the part where I cut out all the pattern pieces, so we're just gonna skip that part. The goal for this afternoon is to assemble the bodice, and, and that's it. Um, I'm not gonna jinx myself by thinking that I can get a lot done uh, because I know I will get distracted and I've already taken an, an unplanned nap today. 
So let's get started. Do 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 do. I tried to be efficient by assembling the bodice and the lining pieces at the same time. I don't know if that worked, um, but everything got done. So that's all that really matters. Next up came assembling the front pleats and then trying to figure out how to put those pleats onto the front of the bodice. I So here is the bodice uh, pinned on my mannequin and I am so excited. It looks so good. See, I always knew that the bell dress from the live action Beauty and the Beast was a pretty dress. It's just not meant to be Belle's dress. It makes a much better fairy dress. But let's keep going. That excitement was short lived. I am a firm believer that some commercial patterns are way more complicated than they need to be. I mean, I figured it out, but man, that was a lot of brain power. Once the pleats were correctly installed, I pressed everything flat and beautiful. From the very beginning, I knew I wanted the bodice to be just covered in appliques and beadwork and flowers. So this is where I took some of my hoarded lace and cut it out into those appliques that would later be used. This was kind of like a palette cleanser after all the sewing that I did, and then I just stopped for the day. I was still feeling kind of burned out from all of the bodice work that I did, so I decided to just jump straight to the skirt. The skirt is made up of a base layer of blue organza, and then every layer on top of that is blue tulle. There is one layer of organza and three layers of tulle to this skirt, with the tulle being tiered from floor length to about calf length to thigh length. It was a lot of cutting, so that's all I did that day. <laughs> I didn't want to do anything else after that. I am sick. I've been sick for almost a week. What was I saying? Mm. There it is. I was never healthy enough. <coughs> I was never healthy enough to do anything that required a lot of concentration and hand-eye coordination. I feel better, and tomorrow I will be at work. So today, maybe I should try to sew, since May is going to be over soon, and I still have nothing to show for my fairy idea. I'm already tired. I picked something fairly mindless, which was just attaching the skirt pieces. Tool can be kind of difficult to sew with, so what I tried was a supposed hack where you put a layer of tissue paper down before you put the tool down, and that helps your sewing machine grip something so that it doesn't get all tangled up. Attaching all the skirt pieces together was, while not difficult or burdensome to the brain was very time consuming because again tool is the worst and on top of that i was using organza and organza is also the worst after getting all the skirt pieces together i gathered them onto the waistline of the bodice and sewed everything down Sometimes my anxiety gives me raging insomnia, but that's fine because I do some of my best work when I can't sleep. In this case, I decided to hand paint the edges of the appliques that I had cut out with some blue dye. Mm. 
The next day before and after work, I began the tedious task of hand sewing all of the appliques, beads, and flowers onto the bodice. So here she is so far. And I think I'll do like sequins or a couple of jewels down here. I don't want this dress to look like, oh, this is a water fairy, this is a flower fairy, this is a specific themed fairy. I just wanted it to be a general pretty blue fairy. Okay, so I have been hand sewing all of this on for a couple of days now, off and on when I'm not at work and when I feel like hand sewing. Um, and it's taking too long and I don't want to do it anymore. I have my handy handy hot dude. I have my handy dandy hot glue gun and some gorilla glue sticks. If this doesn't hold it down, then it was never meant to be in the first place. So let's cut some corners. Yay. I'm really bad at finishing anything that I start, so at some point I got tired of hot gluing and decided to hem the very bottom layer of the skirt. The cool thing about organza is that it is plastic, which means it melts. So I didn't have to hem it with my sewing machine, which would have taken forever. I got to hem it using the power of fire. Yes, this was very satisfying, and yes, this is probably my favorite thing to do on this project. <laughs> it's morning. I spent way too much time last night just hot gluing stuff onto this dress. <laughs> but let me show you um, what we've got going on. The top is basically all done. I added rhinestones and pearls and flowers. It's so cute. I love it. And then to kind of accentuate the different tiers, I think I'm going to just take today to um, put like sequins and rhinestones on every single layer, just the bottom, so that when you step away, you can really see that there are layers in the dress. Oh, and I also put flowers on the very bottom layer so that when it's full out on the floor, it's gonna look really cool. It's gonna look like, I don't know, like I'm being followed by a trail of flowers. It's so cool. Okay, let's go back to hot gluey. glitter on the floor for you. I'm sorry. I love you. Okay, I'm all done. I'll clean up. Okay, I'll sweep up now so you can play on the floor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Um, the point of this project was to use up 
some materials in my stash that I just need to get rid of because I have so much in my hoard and to follow a pattern as it is written, uh, which I did. Uh, that was really hard. <laughs> it's really hard to follow a pattern and read the directions and follow them the way they want you to do it. I'm used to just kind of doing whatever I feel like and taking pieces and doing whatever I feel like to those pieces. I got you. Yes, come over here, my baby. I love you. I can't touch you too much though because I have glitter on. Yeah, there's obviously some things that I could do better next time. Um, oh, bye! <laughs> so the, the bodice is uh, needs to be taken up. The, sh the shoulders in patterns very rarely fit me right out of the packet, so I could be fixing that. Uh, um, this is a really cute pattern. I probably won't use this pattern again. I like my bodices to be a little bit more flattering in the front because of these pleat stripe thingies, these pleats in the front. Um, it kind of hides my shape. I think, yeah, I think that's everything. If you liked watching this video, stick around. I try to post at least once a month. If you really, really like what you see, you can pop on over to my Patreon and support me there. It's only a dollar to join and then you get access to behind the scenes footage of what goes on, um, updates on projects, and you also get to help me choose what project I do next. And if you go for one of the higher tiers, you get presents from me every month. I send them to you via snail mail and that's Okay, I'm done now. Thank you, and okay, bye! <laughs> bye now. <laughs>